So, let's get this show on the road. And I'm going to be testing the audio real quick to so make sure it actually sounds adequate. But of course to do that, I need to actually talk one plane, so that, that's great. Going around in circles. Alright, cool, send a link to her. Uh, I'm going to try and, um... Ready then? This is again as I call this limousine here. Oh shit, oh shit, it's going over! Oh, and he's gone! Boom! <laughs> Alright, I think I'm getting a, getting a balance here. So test this again as we look at the smoldering remains of this limousine. And the zombies have gathered. They now feast on what is left of his charred corpse. Just trying to get a... And even, uh, God damn it. I'm trying to get proper audio levels in here so that I can be heard and so that the game can be heard. Alright, I think that's, uh, that's alright, I think. Matt, you have any, uh, any input? Any delayed input on the audio? Alright, good to know. Good to know it seems fine on your end. Uh, I just fucked the microphone. Did you send a link to your sis yet? Because, gotta get them views. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. That's terrible. I can barely make jokes to save my life. Ask me a joke, ask me for a joke. Or something. The awkward silence. Indeed, Yon won. The hell? Eh, maybe. Maybe she is, maybe she's not. I guess I'm gonna go handle some bombs now. Oh shit, look at him upside down. Eh, let's see that. Alright, phone me. Give me a call. Come on. Do it. Tony? Oh, you meant. If the Pamela Antigua was to come to fruition, we're going to need to, um. How can I put this down, Gilly? Clear a small section of land in Fort Stock. Yeah, when you say we, you mean me, right? No, Tony, you see right through me. Go and see Eight Ball. I'm sure he can provide us with the necessary hardware. So you're saying, indeed, young one, that I suck at jokes. Anyways. What do you get when you cross a Christopher with a Walkman? Get ready for the face palms. Any guesses? Too bad, I ain't waiting. You get a Christopher Walkman. Yay! All the face palming and booze and possible sarcastic applause. 
Ah, it's amazing. You're already crying at what? I hate this damn delay. I hate this delay with communication. God damn it. I don't know, maybe you should send me messages through Skype. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. Hmm. It still have a delay view of the game. Uh... I don't know, maybe we could just set up like some sort of... Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. All my doors. God damn it. Donald sent me to pick up some uh, hardware. Alright, I got what you boys need, but it's gonna cost. Don said you'd pay me up front and he'd reimburse you later. Yeah, I bet he did. Now, where's the hardware? Shit, son. Hardware like this takes time to put together. I'll be in touch. Gotta love that hardware. All right, let's have a slow, somewhat uh, spaced-out conversation here. Um, let's see, what Grand Theft Auto games have you played, Matt? I don't think I've ever asked you that. I know you played Vice City, and I think you mentioned you got uh, the third game at one point. Yeah, I know I gave you Vice City, but did you end up buying GTA 3? Oh no, wait, I get oh. I gave you both rights. God. Forgot completely. Yeah, first it was Vice City, and then at some point after I gave you Vice City, you sold your PS2 for rent. And then I got PS2 games for you, including GT3, because I didn't know you sold them. So yeah. I gave you both, but at different points in time, and... Yeah. Where the hell... Oh, okay, yeah. I got this, uh... Sorry, I ended this up in there. On autopilot as I'm trying to have a conversation with someone or text and lag. Such a good vacation. Gravitation in the way of communication, not the actual conversation. So, I'd fix it, but I already started the, uh, the uh, stream and I don't want to start it, uh, restart. Yeah. Oh, you're moving out soon. Ho oh, ho, where are you moving to, buddy? My husband was greatly infuriated by your actions. You have made him and his men look like the fools they are. <laughs> I aim to please. What's next, princess? My husband is moving a great quantity of cash from his casino. I want you to destroy all of that money. Oh, I can find a damn good use for that money, sweetheart. I want his money burning in the street for all to see. Okay, okay. When's this move gonna happen? It has already begun. They're leaving the casino right now. So please, you don't have much time. Middle of 
it's closer to work, so... Okay. You, you. So you're still staying out in the boonies, huh? Not gonna try to move back here? I mean, I can understand why you wouldn't be able to, because, you know, you gotta do what shit works, right? Still kinda sucks. Oh shit, Armageddon, what the fuck? What in the hell? What happened to the other armored trucks? What the fuck? Still looking at Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So you'd be moving out into a temporary place just to get your shit together, right? Too, I guess. Get me a staples button, cause that was easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, there's another one. Come back here. Give me that casino moolah. Come on. Fucking hell, come here. You are not in my league. Get off! Oh. No, bad puns are not yours. They belong to the world and everyone that lives in it. Too bad. So sad. Yeah, I suppose I do know better. That was a little too easy to pass, too hard to pass up, actually. It was too easy to pass up. Then how come I didn't pass it up? Oh my god! And I survived. Fuck that motorcycle, though. Speaking of motorcycles. Speaking of motorcycles. Hmm, let's see. What can I do to this guy, this uh, bike shop? Whoops! E Daisy. Oh. Surprise, it's still standing. Oh, I do. Holy shit! I'm getting assassinated. I must hide. Alright. You're gonna miss shit. I'll keep playing, my friend. I'll keep playing. I'll stare at Tony's mug and have him disappear. Ooh. He's gone! But he isn't. But he is. But he isn't. But he is! Drop the fire truck down across the town. 
cause as much damage as it possibly can. Boosk! I must get the ratings. I must move. Love that spin out. Fuck. Ah, oh, come on, my fire truck. I'm not supposed to shoot out in my fire truck. Fucking physics, dude. Yeah. Gah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I rolled a taxi. Captain Obvious in the house. Gah. I must hit your... I don't know, you're also awesome dude. Ugh, kid, ugh. This fire truck is indestructible. Holy shit, I got a one level? Right, 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 I can get one I forgot, I forgot I could get a one level. Oopsie daisy. Unfortunately, I also remembered that once I complete the mission, it disappears. So that's nice. Oh wait, I gotta sink a taxi. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Vehicle sunk. Oh, I already won. I got three grand. That's cool. Holy shit. Yes. I'm a deviant. Maddie, come back. I got one that one. For those watching in future land, it's Maddie come back. You can move in with me. Which is fucking stupid. They're not in a position for that to work at all. I doubt Mr. Messi would be very uh, I don't like this. You have returned, huh? How much did you hear? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm fucking drifting. I'm not even trying to drift this thing. I keep looking at the damn uh, stream window. Damn it. Somehow I've become uh, Takumi Fujiwara just drifting around in a goddamn fire truck. Hot oh, damn. Whoa! This reminds me. I'm gonna go get me an ambulance. Ambulance. Horror. So you've returned. What were you doing, Matt? Was your dad calling you to do the dishes? I'm just gonna drift this ambulance while I wait. Uh, use the hose in the fire truck. You know what? Yeah, I suppose I could do that. After I finish drifting an ambulance, that is harder to drift because this is not GTA 3 anymore. It's not top heavy at all. And all right, so you're in the bathroom. Damn it, man! Why you gotta broadcast that? I'm kidding. I ask the question, I get the answer. Hey, my fire truck's still here. Die. What? No. Oh, 
All right, people. Who is wanting a shower? Who wants a shower? Anybody want a shower? Oh, do oh shit. Okay, these guys are not happy with me. Uh, uh, no fuck. What the fuck are you shooting at me for, man? What did I do? That I'd be head all your friends in the middle of Central, Central Park. Is that why you're shooting me? Is that why you're shooting me? Because I can do that to you too. Scalp your heads off. Come here. Thanks for the gun. Unfortunately, I'm also so dead, so let's uh, let's really do that. Okay. Fuck. What the hell? Oh shit, I got the police. It's the police, man. And I lost them one level. Okay. Let's see. Get some health. I guess I'll do a rampage and then I'll do another mission because I'm supposed to do missions. Or rather, I'll do Dude, I I did this. I did this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Oh wait, did it fix itself? It may have fixed itself. Now okay. And random audio tech. Alright, audio check done. Let's do a rampage, people. Assassinate. 30 Ferellis. Where are the fucking Ferellis at? Boy, boy, where the fucking Ferelli? Hey! Hey! Where the fuck you at, Ferelli? Where the fuck you at, Ferelli? Who the fuck is. Oh. Nice of you to just, you know, figure out a fucking thin air. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked the dupe. I fucked the dupe. The dupe the fuck. Well, shit. I ain't saving the game, so I don't care. Give me your goddamn GMC Safari. Yeah. On the information superhighway, keep your family together. Keep off the internet. This message brought to you by Citizens United Negating Technology for Life, People's Safety. Why? Thank you. Anyway, I mean a lot of for that advertisement, radio. Um, you know, I'm not sure the Y2K virus thing involved that. Oh wait, not the full identity. Never mind. I got a date with this Japanese woman to the opera. I might as well get a go on that. No, man, I can't flip the fire truck because it is gone. I asked it this earlier, but it's gone. It's deep spawn. Anyone home? Mr. Tony? A moment, please. My husband is furious. He wonders how you come to know when and where to attack him so precisely. Unless he's a fool, he'll work it out soon enough. Perhaps we should help him. His men gossip like old women. Let's give them something to talk about. Where are we going? 
Yeah, opera. we probably could do that, Matt. Me? Keep kidding? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Tony. Everyone loves the opera. Speaking of uh, Star Fox, that uh, first... If you uh, bring my car around, we can collect your tuxedo. We don't have long. The show starts very soon. Yeah, as I was saying, that first uh, session of verses between you and John, that's going up this weekend, or at least the first part. Or, or it should. It's been sitting on my computer, ha mostly edited for like three weeks now. Hopefully I'll do that tomorrow, and it'll be up by Saturday. Let's play a little music. And before you comment... Yeah, I know, it's about fucking time. It only took me like almost a year. Um, filmed it, what, back in March? Oh shit. Sorry, officer. Ah, oh, come on! I got two put. Fuck this. I'm gonna go get that damn star in the eye. I am not having this shit happen again. Fucking damn it. I'm not having this happen twice. Fuck! <laughs> God damn this. Yeah, uh, shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. The police in this game can be brutal if you let them be. So basically, get in the fast car, out around their cars, and you're good to go. Limos aren't fast though, so. Man, I might as well just, you know, just sit here. What do you mean, beat us? You were fighting John. I didn't play a single round in that first uh, Star Fox versus. If I remember correctly, we did that, uh... That versus uh, battle between the three of us. After we, uh, we finished uh, Star Fox itself. So... See how she's sitting here. I don't know, it kind of looks like she's uh, straining her neck a little bit. Wait, there, how the f. What the f. That doesn't look right or comfortable, so. I don't know. Just her posture looks weird. Oh, you mean. Okay. Whoa, look at Tony just twitched out of the best room. Oh, fuck! Well, uh, I, uh, I lost. My husband is samurai. I fucking lost. Ha! 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 Fucking hell. Yeah, when you... When we, uh, when you're down here next... Okay. No, you do not get your car back. It's not even your car. Anyways, yeah, when you come down next... You, John, and I can do... Try, can try to get a live stream. I don't know about the uh, how. Uh, kind of I don't know how good the quality of the military audio would be. Will be, God damn it! I have. I must have like some sort of. Steps. As I'm trying, God damn, to say, come down next. Then yeah, we can attempt to have you versus mode and uh, broadcast it over live stream. And all your friends out in the boonies can watch and kind of poke fun and shit. I don't know. Anyone home? Mr. Tony? There's like 20 or I'm 25 seconds of la lag. My husband is furious. He wonders Half the time when I, uh, when I answer your, uh, your texts, that you send in the chat. I'm busy in the middle of doing something else, like running away from the cops, so I can't exactly look at your message long enough without having to pause the game, and I don't want to pause the game, because 
the what's the point? Opera. Viewers are staring the at a damn opera. pause Please. screen the whole, for like Don't five seconds while I'm trying to read a piece of Everyone text. Loves the opera. If you bring my car around, we can collect your tuxedo. We don't have long. The show starts very soon. As a test, I will step forward off the steps of this building right now. That's for you, Matt, so you know how much of a lag there is. Banging. Hello, Travel. Oh wait, I'm I just realized the. Yeah. Oh Hello. fuck! You know, I was thinking about taking my. I'm an idiot. Um, I'm an idiot. You know, you know what I should do? I should do. Fucking this. I should pause the game, otherwise I'm gonna fucking lose again. Okay. So. Hmm. Pause, un, pause, if I can fucking spell this correctly. No, I didn't spell that, I didn't spell that correctly at all. Eh. So when you receive this text that I'm about to send you, it means, uh, basically I'm going to pause, unpause the game real quick. And then you'll see, and then I'll send the message right then and there, and then you'll see. Okay, so me, I'm, I'm pausing. If you like to travel in the slow pause, unpause, let's go. Message set. Then you'll love discount adventure cruises. There, now you can calculate how much of a delay there is. And sleep and live in a cozy room the size of your hall closet. Our cruises sail for days on end, then stop in excitement. You think I'm a bad husband? No, princess, I ain't exactly a saint. No, a saint wouldn't be much use to me. Nothing is more romantic than sweating on a hack ship. Then reunite my throwing up a music. This is not a cop. <laughs> Try the super discount yeah. adventure package. It's just you, a yeah, raft, a commemorative goblet to recycle bodily fluids. Don't push me. Recycle bodily fluids. That's pleasant. <laughs> Damn radio. So, how much did you not see when your father called? This. I said that. He's very strong, but very, very. He only married me to become Mother Bashira in Libertad. He has never loved me. He prefers the company of his men. Do you understand? You find out what you're doing, you know what to kill you. I do not care for life or death anymore. Only freedom. What a relaxing world view. Ah. Okay, got less than a minute to freaking make it down to the hospital. Go, 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 go. Make like a stunt driver get this shit downtown. Uh, less than 30 seconds, let's do this. Uh, after you stepped away from the building. Okay, so then you didn't... When did you come back from the building? I mean, when did you come back after that? Oh. There we go. Oh. It's how you want no mix with no chapel, but Well, it'll mix just fine on the sidewalk. Well, shit, I don't have any fucking guns. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Unless I get in this damn car right here. And, you know, try to run these fuckers over. No! I did not leave her behind, you game. What the fuck?
Oh, okay. Pause and pause when we came back. Brilliant. Fuck, these, these guys are still following me. Okay, I'm gonna do the uh, pause and pause thing again. I can't spell pause to save my life for whatever goddamn reason. Uh, pause. Alright, when I send the message, I will pause. And get yanked out of a damn ambulance. Nope. So yeah, hopefully you were paying attention that time, dude. Hopefully. Welcome to the gun shack. Welcome to the meme shack. Welcome to the holy crap. Welcome to the drifting ambulance. Fuck. Anybody wanting to pick some parts? Pick and pull? Anyone? I got all your home defense needs. Sure you do, buddy. All my home defense needs. I don't even have a goddamn home! Let's see. Sniper, that's what I need. I need a sniper. Or, you know, I need to this. And then again. And then again. Just if I... Were you paying attention, Matt, or did you wander off again? I'm leaving the gun shop. Again, I just realized it's Bitch, pointless because the audio is synced with the video. By the time I say that, it'll be showing me walking out of the goddamn gun shop. And I seem to be having some sort of. Aww. Don't throw me, I'm a man! Audio and video is behind chat, it seems. Behind the chat. Or head. Fuck, I died. It was there, but I didn't read it. Because I read it, I read it backwards, that's why. Oh shit! Fucking car accident! Holy fuck! And it's a hit and run to boot! Oh man! That needs to be a goddamn highlight. Holy shit. There he is! Fucking die! Get the fuck out of that truck, you hit and run bastard. Come here. Where the fuck you go? There he is. Come here, damn it. You must face the wrath of your of your own demise. Your fruits of your own labor. Have a nice sleep. No finance, no romance. Shit, my hood is open. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck it. It's not very possible to get that to close here. And it flies off. Oh. There it goes. Plus. That was a fucking cast. Oh, shit! Sorry, sorry, officer. <laughs> I only clicked your car. <laughs> Hypocrite! The hit and run, they performed the hit and run. Anyone home? Brilliant. Mr. Tony? A moment, please. My husband is furious. 
He wonders how you come to know when and where to attack him so precisely. Unless he's a fool, he'll work it out soon enough. Perhaps we should help him. His men gossip like old women. Let's give them something to talk about. Where are we going? The opera. The opera? Me? You kidding? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Tony. Everyone loves the opera. If you bring my car around, we can collect your tuxedo. We don't have long. The show starts very soon. <laughs> well, maybe... Oh, car is fine. Maybe you should have bought tickets for a later show. And, you know, maybe giving me a call. Seeing as you called me in the first place. No. Unless I'm remembering that wrong. Oh, shit! Yeah, we're in a real fucking hurry, aren't we? Just walking to the door, calmly getting in. Yeah, such a hurry. Do you think I'm a bad person, Mr. Tony? Oh, Princess, I ain't exactly a saint. No, a saint wouldn't be much use to me. I almost took out another bike. Seems to be a th just some theme that's going on. I thought that only happened on TV. What an idiot! Okay, I hate opera. Um, not a fan, but... My husband is I'm talking to the world! And to Matthew. He's I'm very Matt! Strong, but then How's it going? He only Help. married me to Where become Maka Bashira in the Virgin City. He you him. can't see him because he's in the chat company, only, so we type it up stuff. Do you understand? And there's like a 15 second delay, so he's probably gonna say hi. No, he can't. Just not at this moment. Only three. Yeah. What a relaxing world view. Hope everything's good, Matt. Yay. What are you guys doing? I plan to be okay. And when I'm not a pilot, I think it's all the way. He said hi, by the way. And you want ice cream? You're freezing, but you want ice cream. Alright, so I made it that time. What's the problem? It's how your blood don't mix with no Chapo blood, but it'll mix just fine on the sidewalk. Well then. Yeah. Boy. You guys get escape. Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh shit. Where's wait, where the fuck did she go? Are you kidding me? Where the fuck did she go? I thought she got in the car. God damn it. I got a water level. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I'm on a veggie and I must run from the cops. Doing my wheelies. Whoa! Whoa, buddy! Doing wheelies! How rude, officer. How fucking rude, officer. Ow, officer. You fucking dicks, officer. Oh, wait. 
Hey, maybe I can uh, persuade this flag to go over the ramp. Uh, Fuck. Never mind. And I hit the microphone because professionalism. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Silly taxi, that's not how you do roadkill. Silly me, this is not commentary. I might refrain from talking for a little bit because you can only tip, talk so much. When you suck at speaking in general, and you know, you have to get a problem. Yeah, Enjoy game for you, I guess. Gave him that nickname. Probably himself. No, wait, it was the other wall that had that thing. those unfamiliar, um, I think it was a mission, yeah, there was a mission in GTA 3 where you blow a hole in the side of a jail cell. And that's why there's, a, there's this camera left over, a cinematic camera just up here. I can't do shit with the right analog stick. And if you actually manage to glitch, glitch through, through the wall, you'll see that there's a, an unsolid um, jail cell back there. I know this because I have the PS2 version and uh, old mods and hacks and tra cheat engines and trainers and trainers and trainers. I get armor. I didn't buy armor. Maybe my memory is just that bad. Holy shit. Oh, 
fuck did I get armor? Did I get it from the, from the truck? From the police truck? I don't know. Probably because they only have five shotgun shells. And, you know, I would have got ten otherwise. Would have ten otherwise. Five from each. So yeah, that's interesting. Bit of information. Mr. Tony? I never knew that. A if it please. is indeed true. My husband is furious. Yeah, we know he's furious. So furious that um, he has a fist of fury. Phone? So how about we go and uh, yeah, relinquish? I'm gonna relinquish my <coughs> car to um, despawning, and I'm gonna go get this limousine. Take your bloody time. Do you oh, think shit. I'm a bad person, Mr. Tony? Well, Princess, I ain't exactly a saint. No. A saint wouldn't be much use to me. Do you, oh, no, no, I am taking down another one second. Screw that. Hey, no, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, wait, I just realized this is an actual 3D interior in here. You huh. Here. Did they do that for the PS2 version? Of the game? What about the other buildings? Oh, I don't know, maybe they did. I ain't wasting my time. Time is precious. Time is money. Time is buying tickets for a show. This is so old, my God. No. For the day after, you tell your friend that you went to the opera. Not on the same day. My husband not a few minutes after it. He is very strong, but very, very bad. He only married me to become Makagashira in Liberty City. He has never loved me. He prefers the company of his men. Do you understand? It's a gay joke. Right down what you're doing. You know he's going to kill you. I do not care for life or death anymore. I think I just ran out of steam for commentary right now. Of course, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to give up entirely. So I'm likely going to make myself, make a fool of myself. God damn. Try it. Keep shit going. So I gotta, I gotta go to this. Let's hit the gas with all we got. Get the fuck out of the way! Fucking move, guy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It seems pretty docile this time around. I pick oh wait, right, I uh I lost a samurai sort of a while ago. Okay, let's let's just get the hell out of here. Let's go. Oh fuck. Oh fucking Adelite. Get in the damn car. Get in the damn car. Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Ah! Oh shit, yeah, she's in the car this time. Let's not fail this. Uh, yeah, officer. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh! Fuck. Are they actively attacking us? Just sort of pop out of nowhere and ram the car. Oh shit! Um, I don't know if you noticed, Chico, but I have gotten us out of here. Um, at least away from the opera house. It's the fact that we're getting chased. It's the problem. Yeah, um, let's go. There's something there. And... Here, I guess we're going to blow up the limousine. Drive into a gas station. A singular gas station in the whole game. Because Portland is the only one that needs gas. Right? And some other Yakuza's there. Just, the name is Tony. No, the name is Cipriani. Tony Cipriani. You want explosions? And I'll give you fucking explosions. Fucking what, mate? What? See the shotgun, Roddy? I don't know how to fucking use it. Piss. There, I blew something up. You happy, Matt? Cause I'm spinning right round, baby, right round like a owl my face. Actually, to be more accurate, it's out of my joystick because I can just hear it grinding against the sides of the damn joystick housing. Not fun. Not a fun sensation. That's the wrong building. Okay. Alright everybody, show's over. Matthew was happy. Not really. Uh, let's see. Can Tony Cipriani make this jump? No, because he isn't worth... He can't jump for shit, that's why. Oh! <laughs> Actually, I did it. I did it. I was not expecting that to work at all. Uh, where the hell am I? Where the fuck am I? It may not be apparent on the stream, but it's fucking pitch black on mine. Damn near pitch black. Should probably adjust that. Oh, the fog is helping a little bit. Ugh. I'm not even on the right side. I can barely see the damn wall. Yo, no, I'm not on the right side. I need to get a dump truck, garbage truck, or something, ambulance, anything. Whoops. No, 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 no. Let's get old. What is this? That is something that won't work. No, it's just too nervous. Uh, it's a sports car. But that way. Let those trucks come on. You know what? I'm just gonna beat the show.
address of pedestrians. I'm gonna make a point. Garbage on the internet. Cannot wait to flame you on a message board. Alright. Ah, there's my hot ticket. God, look at this mess. Oh yeah, quite the mess. Quite the mess. The hello officer, the late to the party. The tea party. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. I lied. I'm sorry. I lied to myself. It's this way. Ish. Back. Get away from the screen for a second. Because that's so small. How's the show so far? It seems like uh, our grand total of five, five to five, most of our grand total has left. Actually, not grand total. Uh, recent total, something total, total this, total that, total everything. Totally radical. Yeah, there we go. Show's good, all right? How good? How good is the good? Oh shit, I got this tangle on my freaking pant leg. What the hell? Nobody can get enough of the alley. Nobody. 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 No punny. Hmm. Wait, is the poster all the way over there? I don't remember being that far away. No, it's not all the way over there. Because the wall only goes up, well, the, there's a separator, fuck separator, there's an outright building right here. Hmm. Straight up building. Building them block. Dr. Love. Mr. Love. Yeah. He's got a little present hiding in the bushes. It's gonna be quite the present for the people on the street. Oh. Run over. Right. You know, I remember hitting. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. Anyways, I remember why. I remember hating this. I didn't. That's because I thought I was restricted to that single place right there. Really? I'm not. 
What a fantastic record! I didn't know that then, so I got frustrated. God, I feel so fertile now. I want to bang a statue. Shadow cares. Life is stranger, but not commercially. Relax. You're on radio, tell me, darling. Where are all the people at? Where are all the people at? Yeah, this is still a great movie. Maybe if I went down to some dirty movie. That? I ask you, why do all you dirty hippies come to my country to sit in the cross-legged position and move my... Probably should come down here sooner. As it is, I am waiting. We'll see. Yeah, I should come down here sooner. This is it. It says hi. Okay. Did she say that she was watching, or did? Uh, I'm trying to figure out if the two views are both people are dumb. I'm trying to figure out if both people are watching the stream or people are dumb or maybe it's more strange right here and it's actually a day here. I don't know. Holy shit! Surviving getting hit by a train. Lock the balls. Balls. Not watching that, huh? Alright, I guess I got someone's thing. Someone's, uh... Oh, wait. Fuck, I did this last time. I'm counting my fucking view. Because I'm watching this stream. Just to make sure it doesn't fuck up. God damn it. Why must I do this? Oh, shit. Wait for a second. Another second, the fucking train barrels at me. Okay, let's not be in this train. Let's uh, taxi anymore. Oh, okay. Into the Portlands. Into the Porty Lands. The Porty Porty Lands. Running up to the jump. Will he make it? No, because there's nothing to jump off. I thought it was GTA 3 for a second. What in the fuck? Alright, let's do this proper. Running up to the jump. Will he miss? No, we can't do it proper. So I forgot something else. Jumps in there. Right fucking there. Damn it. You want lady? Lady! No, lady. Lady. I'm panicking. Come here. Come on! Whatever. 
A for you too. A for no link clips. Anyways, we'll see you on your end, man. Then we do for the past couple of days. Any of the rest of the stories you want to tell? Can't. Uh, I got tons of stories, but I can never remember them when I when it's convenient. It's always when I'm like just doing something random. And I mean funny stories, like entertaining ones. Oh shit, right, computer... Oh, great. So once upon a time in 2013... Fuck. I've ruined the story already. God damn it. Once upon a time, some, some years ago... Certain somebody got the idea... To throw an extra computer monitor... And... I'm doing a great job. I'm doing brilliant. Hey everybody, I'm the best storyteller in the world. So great I can't even can barely talk past like the speech impediment thing I thing I have going on. God damn it. Alright, for real this time. Um So, uh once upon a time in freshman year of high school, Matt, myself, and a friend of ours debatably of ours by the name of uh, uh, by the name of Tyler we're walking down the the road sorry I say road I mean we were walking down the hallway in our school fuck I'm sucking at this I can't tell stories and talk at the same time I'm sorry I'm sorry. Well, fucking get off me, officer. So we were walking down the hallway by the library, and we spot a bun a, uh, a pile of, or rather, a uh, gathering of older technological equipment, school equipment, you know, stuff that they were probably going to recycle or something. And among them was this CRT computer monitor. It was a white CRT monitor. And Tyler gets the idea to throw it off somewhere real high. So I think he and Matt carried it uh, out to the uh, out to the, uh, the track and field where we have like these uh, stadium seating, these stadium seats. And they, uh, right, then also TJ was there too. There was another kid named TJ who was there too. And, um, fuck this mission, man. 
Fuck this mission. I failed. So, I think Matt, yeah, it might have been Matt and Tyler who were the ones that carried it. They carried it up to the top of the, uh, the stadium seats. And then... So they carried it to the top of the stadium seats. And then Tyler and I got down, uh, went back around to the bottom and back to the stadium seats. Obviously we were stepping back because we didn't want to get hit by the thing. And then Matt and TJ took the thing over. And uh, Tyler, of course, had a cell phone out and he was... Um, basically, he was filming it on his little antiquated cell phone, crap video quality. So TJ and Matt push it over the edge, comes tumbling down like a goddamn rock, and it shatters on the pavement everywhere. And as we're standing there, just looking at the damage, uh, I forget who it was. It might have been Matt, might have been Tyler, maybe even TJ. One of them noticed that the vice principals were walking so and I was like, oh shit. Well, they didn't get a good look at us yet, so I'm going to fucking book it. And I get Matt to pretty much do the same thing as me, and we both fucking book it. But Tyler and TJ stayed there. They stood there. Uh, honestly, Tyler had a better idea. He was like, after the fact, he told me what his plan was, which was basically to play dumb. Act like we, we, uh, that we had come across it and that we weren't the people who did it. Of course, that plan was from the window, so it was Matt and I booked it. Safe to say, we got shit for that. But we got a worse, because I don't remember that well. Apparently, TJ stole his out. Yeah, Oh, no, 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 that's what happened. Tyler was still trying to spin the story that we had come across it. That it wasn't us that did it. We didn't see who did it. We just came across it. It was like this already. We were just checking it out. We weren't the ones that did it. And he may even have been trying to spin, like, oh, they, they ran because they didn't want to get in trouble. Figured, hey, standing next to it. We would get in trouble. And then TJ was like, no, that's not what happened. We, we threw it out to the And that was the end of that. We all got detention. Which constituted a bunch of problems. Which honestly isn't all that bad. It was not fun. Because we had to sit there, eat our lunch, not talk to each other. We talked to each other. At that point, lunch was pretty uh, big deal for us. But yeah, that's that story. Hopefully, hopefully that gets through in some form or another. And that it's somewhat humorous, although I doubt it because I suck <laughs> talking. That's all the part of the seniors, too. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, right, I forgot! Oh, my God, I, I forgot. I mean, not completely, I mean, forgot in this instant. I That part slipped my mind. Ah, oh, shit. Right, no, our detention was cleaning up the mess we, we fucking made. That was our detention. And then it might have been on top of our of us eating lunch in the office. No, so... So one of the vice principals went back came, uh, to the school and then walked back to, over to the stadium with a broom, a few brooms actually, and some some garbage, uh, some garbage pickers or something. And then they told a couple of seniors in varsity jackets to like supervise us and get her to make sure we cleaned it up. It's really weird. I was actually just thinking about this the other day, about the whole um, change of um, a perspective that I uh, that I hmm, what's the word that I guess encountered through my years at high school. Before I delve into that, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna finish up the story real quick. 
So we're cleaning up, and of course, no, wait. So we're cleaning up, and as we're cleaning up, the seniors are just kind of shit talking us, treating us like the like delinquents, which we kind of were being. And they were just kind of being a little bit, they were being dicks, kind of. Basically, they were being a little bit of, uh, I speak. I speak, but I, I don't in do Liberty well, City. unfortunately. But maybe in the future? Oh no. I Let's try to do a retake here. What? I don't normally see tracers. Bollocks! That was just that shit rewind sound effects. I don't know. Ugh. So the seniors are supervising us to make sure that we clean up the itty bitty pieces that were once part of a computer monitor. Along with some larger pieces like the casing for the monitor. That was largely broken into pieces. It was only like two pieces and it was still held together with a lot of cracks in it. So the seniors were being dicks a little bit. They were basically talking shit to us, treating us like we were like the lowest of scum, kind of. And they're basically just making more work for us a little bit. Like with the computer case, one of them actually stood on it and like broke it even more. Like stomped a few pieces of pieces of uh, circuit board that left over it. And then at the end of that, yeah, we ate lunch and freaking all this. Also, I'll mention that uh, we did that during lunch, so the detention was the next day. That whole incident was during lunch. God damn it. The thing with me and telling stories is that I need to plan that shit first. Telling it on the fly is like it's one way ticket to most of the board with this stuttering and repeating all the lines. Like, oh my god. But hey, I'm trying my best. Bossed? I'm trying my bossed? Wow, <laughs> I'm trying my best here. As I drive around, autopilot, and just some boxes. Here we go. Oh shit, I did that in the wrong game, but I'm out of here. Alright, digging into what, uh, what occurred to me after the fact. Um, my group of friends from freshman year, we were, I guess, safe to say, we were rowdy. Um, we weren't really dicks, but we could do dick things. You know, for the humor, we weren't actually going around being malicious to people, especially not people we knew. We were just kind of being dicks to each other, and doing a few stupid things, like, like the time, uh, shit, screw bus, right? Story. Like we were just do stupid shit off and on. Like uh, like the school bus. There's this um, school bus, this uh, sort of short school bus. It's not really a short bus. It's just uh, a regular school bus, but shorter. Like half about half the length of the bus. About three quarters the length of a regular school bus that they use for when uh, in the school sports teams or whatever go to like another school for an away game or something of that sort. And when it's not in use, it was parked out back by the automotive shop. And uh Dude, I'm literally talking about that bus right now. Maybe that I'm noticing that after the fact you posted. I don't know. I'll have to look back on it. Maybe. Maybe. Anyways the bus is in the back of near the back of the school by the automotive shop. And uh, one lunch break, because during the lunch we just kind of fucked around, we either, uh, chased each other, or played games, or you know, just, uh, just walked around really and shit. So one lunch hour, we're over by the automotive shop, and I think it was John or something? He went behind the bus, in between the wall, uh, in between the school building and the side of the bus, the left side of the bus, and he discovered that the window 
by the driver's seat was unlocked. Like, it wasn't open, but it was unlocked. And he slid it open and, like, climbed inside and we're like, dude, where the fuck do you go? We didn't see him do this. Like, he opened one of the windows on the side of the bus. He was like, dude, I got, hey, guys, I'm in here. And we're like, how'd you get in there? And of course, he got into the window. We all climbed in after him, just talking about how cool it was. We were just in here, this bus. And we decided that we would eat lunch in there. Of course, on that day, we had to eat lunch. So the next day. So the next day comes around. We all get into the bus. And we get our lunch. And I don't think anything happened. And we did that a couple of more times. No, we did that one more time. And that one other time was like a few days later in the same week or like the week after. And... Well, there's a, there's a maintenance group at the school. This hurts. So while we're sitting in the bus eating our lunch, this, uh, this panel van, I guess I can call it. Uh, the, uh, the logo for the school district on the side of, the, side of it pulls up alongside the bus. And we're like, oh shit. We all kind of duck and cover. Especially since it stopped. It stopped right there next to the bus. And then because I'm too much of a. I'm a curiosity kill the cat kind of person. I can't help but fucking look to know what's going on. So of course I peek over the sill of the window just enough so I can see what's going on. Then I see the guy on his phone or something and he's doing something. And then like five minutes later the vice principal's out there and he's basically telling us to get out of the bus. Like the jig is up. We're it's, it's done. We're done. And he gave us a stern talking to, I think about trespassing or whatever. Made us clean the bus, even though we didn't even dirty the bus. Like, all of our stuff was still on us. Except for maybe Matt or Tyler, a couple of rappers or some... Or I, think someone, I think someone was eating an orange. They just left the peel there for some fucking reason. But we cleaned the whole bus, not just what they, not just what we happened to leave. And even then, it wasn't that bad because we were just picking up garbage. We weren't like scrubbing it down or anything. And yeah, that, that's it. Just chilling, doing jack shit while I talk about stories. Another story. All right. So our lunch table in first in freshman year was was pretty. Uh, I'd say it was a popular table among most freshmen. We we're just getting a lot of freshmen people who were pretty cool, I guess, gathered at this one table to eat lunch. And you know, to this day, I don't even know most of them. Like the one name that sticks out. That wasn't the name of a person that happened to be, that was a friend of mine. It was like this James kid. It was like a, I think he was a little older than us, but he was still a freshman. Short blonde hair or something. He was a little bit of a, a jerk, I think. And again, we were all kind of jerks in general. To varying degrees of maliciousness. I wasn't being very much, so I was just mischievous. I can't say it for anyone else. But anyways, um, one day, Tyler gets the idea to steal part of TJ's food. And over the next few months, that quickly snowballs into all of us at the table collectively trying to just jack pieces of TJ's lunch. And in hindsight, of course, I realize that's, that's fucking... That's fucking bullying at that point. 
That's a dick move. What did he say? First time I didn't realize that. I was just going along with everyone else. I was having fun. Just kind of swept away the current without even really, really realizing it. And of course, TJ and I had only just met. No, TJ had only become a friend of ours just recently, like at the start of the year. So this was even da this was this was incredibly damaging. Because we could have ended up being, you know, somewhat decent relation and a friendship. Quickly became. It quickly went south. Really fucking south. And then one day, I can think in like November. No, I think by this point it was like January. He was just completely sick of our shit. He stopped eating things. Understand, of course. And uh, but now that TJ wasn't there, there wasn't really anyone like doing anything. I miss the fun of that, if that makes any sense. So, another one of my friends, Nevada, who I had, uh, was an, actually a friend of mine from elementary school, going back, but I had uh, become reacquainted with in high school because I had seen him since elementary school. He started eating this. And one day, like a few days after TJ stopped eating this, he was like, I'm going to steal one of Nevada's. No way. Like a few days after. TJ stopped eating with us. Nevada uh, was eating with us and uh, he got some chicken nuggets. He sat down on the table and was like, oh wait, I'm going to get some, I'm gonna get some sauce. So he gets up and goes back to the, to the, uh, the kitchen area. And while he's gone, I just need to get a chicken nugget. He comes back, sees what he's missing, and, sh well, unexpectedly, shit went south really fucking quick. Like he had me pimped down on the table going, Did you eat my fucking... Why did you eat my goddamn chicken nugget? Well, actually, he was a terror gang. And then I met him, and then... Yeah, we didn't talk to each other for like... No. We were all, like, kind of enemies. But we were straight up, like, enemies. For the next two months. After that. Which again, understandable, to some extent. We just got on each other's shit. And then in like, April, it culminated in what I think was probably the, uh, one of the better moments in high school. Yeah. So, it's lunch hour. It's a sunny day outside. But I'm eating inside because it's still from the cold outside in the spring. So it's chilly. So we're eating there. And... Shit, I forget how exactly it started. Sometimes I like to play a percussive tune on the belly of a pregnant woman. Sometimes I don't. What's wrong, son? History homework is really boring. We all know Actually, Matt, do you remember how that started? I, I completely forget somehow. I forget. I completely forget how it started. All I remember is that we ended up... I remember what ended up happening after that. Which please enlighten you, Matt. Do you remember? Shit. Finally, computer games that are good for something. Now kids will beg to keep learning. But, uh, Chad, you've been up all night. I've learned all about cultural hegemony and the introduction of diseases to isolated populations. Look at this. It's an indigenous population I'm decimating. You were sick? Dude, no, I swear you handed me a fucking water bottle, man. You were like, go get him. Hey, my car! I swear you were there. And again, I guess it could have been Tyler that was there instead. I don't know, someone was there, and you were Tyler. You basically gave me some fuels to fight with.
I'm bathing, Tony San. We have little time left. My husband knows now who is truly behind his losses. He's coming to kill me. And you. Well, I ain't waiting here for him. Where is he? He's in Belgium, gathering his men. But soon, hmm. he will come here. Sayonara, sweetheart. My prayers go with you, Tony San. Good luck. No, I remember you being there, man. That water fight was in freshman year. He didn't move until, like, the summer of the following summer. So either you were sick that day, or you just somehow missed it. Because that was definitely freshman year. Because I remember Nevada and I were, like, beefing after that. No, before that. Before that, we... Nevada and I had a bit of a, a rivalry going on, a bitter rivalry in uh, in our science class. And I had science second semester of freshman year. It was a specific science class, science 10, which doesn't sound like I would have been in there for freshman year, but I was. And, uh, yeah, you were either there and didn't see it, or you were sick. Yeah, you must have been sick. Maybe it was Tyler that handed me the water bottle. I don't know. So... Get out of the way, buddy. Do I have any weapons? No, I don't have any weapons. I'm going in there to fucking die. <laughs> Anyways, so one lunch in like April, May, somewhere near the end of the semester. Sunny day outside, I remember that. It's lunchtime. And this beginning part is going to be a little bit, it's incredibly foggy, but I'm going to try and figure out as I go along how it went. So, I think maybe we were the respect I crave. gathering at the table. By that point, our group was rather dispersed. Like, it had dispersed. A lot of the people that were reading with us just kind of left. And, uh, and somehow, I ended up eating that and maybe. I doubt it. Worth it. I'm a hero. Shit. Now that I threaten them with tickets, that's right. Women love a man in uniform, especially if you're threatening so, them with a ticket or incarceration. Think about it. You'll have a name badge. It's like fast food, but you get to beat people. Yes, I can beat them. Yeah, I think. I think he sat down to eat for whatever reason, bullet. and then we just kind of started going at it, like kind of poking, poking and prodding, what seeing who would kind of snap. Really? You can barely hear me? Well, fuck. Well, fuck. Well, I'm testing it right now. Okay, let's hope that didn't ruin shit. Let's hope it didn't ruin shit. Continue this story in better quality. I hope it will be better quality. So Nevada came to sit with us for whatever reason, and somebody stole my car. Fucking peachy. So Nevada came to sit with us. We started, we started poking and prodding at each other, and I had my water bottle with me. And I was just like, you want fuck your shit. No. Did that happen? One of us grabbed a water bottle and threw it at the other. I know that much. 
Oh no, that's what happened. Okay. So one one day late in the semester, April, May, something like that. I'm walking through the cafeteria about to eat lunch. Nevada's sitting at a table close to where we usually sit to eat, but obviously apart from me. And and we just kind of start getting at each other. And then uh, he started to leave because he was finished his lunch. And then, shit, this part is foggy. I think someone. I have my water bottle in my hand. I think someone, maybe Tyler, prodded me to like throw the water at him or something. And I ended up doing it because I was fucking pissed. And I, I used up about half of my water bottle, I think, and then Nevada pretty much threw his water at me. And then I ran out of water, and he ran out of water. And I was like, you know what, that's it. That's the, that's the event. It's over. And then as I'm walking away, someone, probably Tyler, hands me another water bottle. He's like, go get him. And as Nevada's walking away with his back turned to me, I just fucking walk up and just run up. The whole cafeteria is watching, by the way. I just run up and I fucking dump water on him. The whole crowd just fucking goes wild. Well, not wild, like... Like everyone's going, oh, Something of that variety. Or nature. And of course, the vice principal walks in and he's like, What the fuck's going on? Stop this immediately. And as punishment, we had to basically clean the cafeteria after lunch with the janitor. And we spent like half the class doing that, half of our next class doing that. And interestingly enough, that was the day we actually uh, got over the whole stupidness of the situation, got over... Basically, we became friends again. Bullshit was done and over with, and that was it. Yay for stories. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit. This job is heading for the casino. Ah, thanks for providing me with another one of those. Very thank you much. Hey man, you want to hear a story of a weird dream I had? Uh, you might be in it. Listening, listening, waiting, waiting for a response. So. Because this leg is lovely. Okay, what do you want to hear my opinion on? Well, 
want your you want my opinion on something, uh, what would it be? Oh, hello. Oh man, I'm gonna end up forgetting about the fucking opinion you want to share. You want to... The thing you want to get my opinion on. Then again, I guess you would remember. Still, so, I'd like to get that out of the way first. I'm not talking into the goddamn mic. I need a better mic set up. Which brings into another less entertaining story, short story thing. I bought a blue snowball mic for like 80 bucks. It sounded fucking like, I guess, for the lack of a better word, it sounded fucking dope. Like, I sounded amazing on that thing. But it had like these insane incompatibility, these, uh, this weird incompatibility issue with my computer. Like, whenever I tried to use it seriously, it just, it fucking crapped out. Like, the computer would just suddenly stop recognizing it as as what it was, a microphone. So I took it back and bought something else. Oh no wait, I bought something else with the microphone. Which was a game, and then I just when and I took it back, I just took it back and was like, fuck it. Oh, you want you want my opinion on that? Dude, all you have to do is look back on your Facebook messages for that shit. Or at least for some semblance of that. Your date with Sam when, she, when you get back down here. I mean, seriously. Oh my god. Fucking Sam. Fucking Kayla. Fucking both. And I mean that is an insult. Just screw them both. They just oh. The fact that you have a date with Sam, for me, just spells fucking trouble. Cause they were just. I want to sound. I guess informal, I guess, but they were cunts, pretty much. They were just going around fucking with people, being dicks, being assholes, being. Like, they pretend, sort of, I guess two-faced is, is a good way of saying it. They're a little two-faced. And, um... So what if they had a thing for you in middle school, man? So fucking white. Doesn't change who they are. Doesn't mean they're not gonna try some stupid drama shit with you. Just fuck them. Ah, oh, shit. Complete fuck em. Hurry, I'm going to a convention. I could go my life. No, I prefer to not see them ever again. It's just, I don't want to. Just fuck them. They're probably going to screw with you in some way, fashion, manner, or form. And you're not going to like it. Because that's how they roll. Oh, where the fuck you come from, man? It's possible that they matured. Possible. But I doubt it. I wouldn't bet anything on it. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, how do I... These guys, headshots. What the fuck? Oh! No way, you just. Nah. But yeah, good luck with that whole date thing. Just good fucking luck.
Right, the dream. I meant this all of you. But it is fitting that I kill you myself. You too, leave us. I am going to enjoy thrusting my sword into you. Yeah, I heard that about you. Uh. Wait, I remember having to fight this guy with a samurai sword. Which is actually pretty challenging and fun. But I have guns. And I can access these guns. So what the fuck is the point? I just do this. Oh. Well. That, uh... That happened. That was fun. So yeah, I'm gonna try and talk about that dream I mentioned. The dream I mentioned, uh... So in this dream, I'm driving around in the Toyota. And, uh, in the family's to get up to sale. It's a little two-door Japanese compact car. Pretty good, pretty good car, if I, if I say so myself. And driving around, I put, well, actually, the story starts, the dream starts, rather. We're pulling over on the side of the, out of a road, next to, like, this, uh, this, like, structure thing. And we got out of the car. to basically check out this structure thing on the side of the road in like the city or whatever and it's just weird it's like, it looks sort of like maybe a greenhouse except if it were built to look like something the Romans built like it wasn't some grandiose giant thing it was about the size of a, of a regular of a small uh, greenhouse but it was still odd. And we walk up to it, and it's got this, uh... You know the shutters that they use? At, like, uh, at stores when we're closing up and such? It had those things... At every entrance to the greenhouse. And it had, like, four entrances. One on each side. That, like, jutted out from the structure. So the building was pretty much in the shape of, of, a, of a plus sign. And... The floor was completely... was just bare dirt. It was dirt. The floor was dirt. There was nothing in this freaking greenhouse. And we're just like, okay, this is kind of weird. Whatever, let's go. So I walk up to one of the doors, because it doesn't really matter which door we go out. We were parking first and checking out this thing second, I believe. So I just opened one of the one of the other shutters at the other hand a different entrance that we entered through I'm for at an entrance other than we entered through fucking hell I'm derailing already so I open the entrance and all of a sudden there's this fucking grand corridor like out of a fucking hotel or something like real expensive hotel and I'm just going wait 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 what, what the fuck and we just sort of walk in and start wandering around just kind of half confused, half curious as to what is going on and where we are and whatnot. And then we end up going through door after door. Then we went through the doors at the end of the uh, at the end of this section of the corridor. There was like two or three sets of double doors. They were made of wood. It was basically just a separator, mask, uh, structure, structural stuff and whatnot. Hmm. And then we end up going into uh, into a side hallway, a smaller hallway that branched off, I think, like a 90 degree angle from the next section of the corridor. And it starts looking less, you know, grandiose. It starts looking less like a hotel, like more like something out of a, an office building or, I don't know, maybe a school. 
like uh, one of the back hallways of the school. There's nothing really there. It's just a hallway for like people to move through. Or no, not through a school. Uh, but yeah, a hallway out of like a freaking office building. And basically, we started. Uh, oh fuck! No, that's. I can't turn to the derail. No, this is what happened. So we go through the first set of double doors at the end of this first section of the corridor. And uh, it's another hall. Okay, great. We continue down to the uh, to the uh, next set of double doors at the end of this this uh, corridor. It opens up into this like gym auditorium thing. And in this Okay, yeah, it was a, it was like a gym that had a stage but was being used as an auditorium. If the floor was covered in carpet and the carpet went up like the side of the stage and onto the top onto the, like, the floor of the stage. And in this room, this sort of gym turned auditorium or maybe it was you know for plays or something, I don't know. There were uh, there were a bunch of uh, I guess university students people that were in their late teens, early 20s, just kind of there, a few of them were milling about, just kind of sitting on the edge of the stage, a couple others were standing up there, like maybe studying some lines or something for a play, and then there was this, uh, this teacher here, there, and she, she turned to us when, she, when we walked in, actually most of the people turned, when, turned to us when we walked in, and she gave us this look, like, who the fuck are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? And the two of us walk sort of diag diagonally to another set of double to another set of double door. Yeah. And then the, the two of us then walk over to another set of uh, diagonally across the room to another set of uh, double doors that were on the right wall. And uh, the door that fucking hell the door we came into the room through was. It wasn't like opening up in the center of the wall, like like uh, there's even amount of room on either side. No, it was like we were entering through the left door of the of this room. There would be another one on the other end, on that same wall. And so we're walking into this room. We're clearly not supposed to be here. And these people are looking at us weird, like, "Who are you? What are you doing here?" Especially the teacher. We're like, and I'm like, "Okay, dude, let's just." There's another set of double doors right there. Let's just go. Let's go through there. It was on the left wall. We kind of just, just almost like right there, maybe a meter or two away from this first set of doors leading into it, into the room. And we just walk kind of, we beeline to this door. We don't run. We just go straight for it. We go through it. There's another hall, another grand corridor for some reason. And then we, so we walk down the hall, kind of like, okay, we should probably start figuring out where the hell we are. And we go down a side hallway that branched off this main corridor. And this... This is, uh... Going back to what I was saying earlier. It was a hallway that looked like something out of maybe an office building. It was, uh... It was, it was dim in this hallway. And we're kind of wandering around trying to figure out... Going through the sort of maze of hallways, trying to figure out where the fuck we are. And where the entrance to this building is. Oh shit. Okay. I forgot I was being chased by the police. So, of course, the, uh. Let's see. So, since we're not there, I guess somebody called, like, security or something. Because the next thing we, I know, um, there's, like, the security guy kind of following us around, and he gets a hold of, like, Matt. And then he gets a hold of me. He just sort of starts pulling us back towards the auditorium. He's like, you guys shouldn't be in here. I'm going to escort you guys out. Or basically, we're in shit. He's a little more serious than the way I'm putting it. He was more like... Almost like he was going to arrest us for trespassing, sort of thing. And, uh, let's see. So we get back to the auditorium, the teacher's, like, full-on chewing us the fuck out. Like, you're not supposed to be here, get out. And as the, as the, uh, security guard is dragging us 
towards the first set of double doors into the auditorium that we entered initially entered in through. I'm, I literally, I believe, yeah, I yelled at her, like, Sure, we'll leave. Where's the exit? We've been trying to leave for the past 20 minutes. We don't want to be here. We're, it's clear we're not supposed to be here. We just can't fucking leave. And then we're dragged through the door. We're just sort of led through the door. And then uh, one of us shakes the guy's grip, resulting in the other shaking the, the guy's grip. We just fucking book it. Of course, we're all disoriented. We don't really know where the hell we are. No. So we book it. We book it to the doors at the end of the... that we entered in through at the end of the Grand Hall. We go through them, and... run across the next hall. We open those doors, and then we see a third Grand Hall. We see a third Grand Hall just there, and we're collectively going, what the fuck? Isn't this supposed to be where, the ec where we came in? So then we just kind of panic at that point, and we run down this hallway, and then down a random branching hallway. We keep running, it sort of turns into another dim hallway, kind of like before, and then it opens up into this room. Now this room looks something like you would be in a Tony Hawk's game or something. Hi. Hello. You're trying to sleep? Because I'm trying to do something. Alrighty then. Alrighty then, let's try and continue this. So. You open, the room opens up. Sorry. I'm gonna finish it up and I'm gonna turn it off. So, hmm. so the room, the hallway opens up into this room. Looks like something that might be in a Tony Hawk's game or something. Um, so on the right, immediate right, there's like an the wall kind of, uh... Like, the wall falls away on the left, but not falls away, like, it moves. Like, it's, uh... I'll call it zigzag, like the... Basically, there's a space next to where we enter in through. And there's, like, some arcade machines there. And there's more arcade machines on the right. And on the right wall, there's this window that wraps around to, like, a little bit of, uh an alcove ahead of us. It's got this sort of... It's fogged glass. Fogged glass. You would see in like a... I don't know, in some bathroom windows or something. And it's in cubes. And, uh... And in the larger part of the room, there's like these sort of half ramp things, like uh, quarter pipes for skateboarding. Like there's a ramp on this, like on the back wall there was a ramp, and then there was a, a quarter pipe. And I'm pretty quick to explore this room. I'm looking around, okay, we're close to the exit, because there's windows. I can see outside, it's gotten dark by this point. I can see like headlights, there's like a street out there, from what I can make out. I look around some more, over by where, on the wall opposite that quarter pipe, I see a door. It's a sealed door. It's the kind of thing you would see in like maybe an apartment building or office building, or the, for the parking lot of the office building, where it's a steel door and it's got these two squares, square windows. One on the top half and one on the bottom. Most of the door is glass. But it's got this frame, sort of digital 8 frame metal frame for the door. Hmm. <clears throat> That's framed around the class, I should say. And then, of course, first instinct, go for the door. And I do. But Matt decides to go up the damn ramp on the opposite end of the room. I'm almost done. Oh, 
And of course, I'm like, dude, we gotta get out of here. What are you doing? And I literally have to go up there, and, like, pull him down back to the door. And by this point, the security officer is caught up to us, just like, like, right there in the room. And we just start booking it up these stairs that are there, these concrete stairs. And, uh,. And I believe the stairs went up maybe two or three flights. Two or three floors. There's a solid staircase, concrete, going up. Utilitarian in appearance and all that. And the whole time climbing up, we're booking it up these stairs. The, off the, the security guard is like right behind us, on our heels. And eventually I see this door at the top. And I push it open, and we are on this bridge on the upper level... No, we were on, uh... Hmm. So I pushed the door open. And there's suddenly a lot of people. Like a decent amount of people just milling, walking around, doing their business, milling about. I look left, there's part of a grand hallway. Grand corridor. I look right, there's a railing. To my right is like this bow... Is, uh, no, to the right, I look right, I see the railing at the end of the hallway. Where the... I guess the ground kind of falls away and it turns into this lobby thing. And there's escalators. I'm going down and I see the last... And basically, I see the exit. I'm like, dude, this way. And we book it down the escalator, pushing our way through. And as we reach... the main entrance. Just as we reach the main entrance, the security guard grabs my arm. Spins me around, he's like, you are in big fucking trouble, you need to leave right now. And I say to him, straight up, we've been trying to leave this entire time. And he's, in the top of it off, he's got like his gun pointed at me, because I'm threatening to shoot. One minute left. So he's, he's there, he's got his gun pointed at me, he's like, you have to leave right now, you're in big shit. In deep shit. You have to leave now. And I say to him, we've been trying to leave this entire time. If you want to shoot me, go ahead. I'm leaving right now, and I back out the door, and I wake up. And that's the story, Matt. Well, that was my stream, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'll stream again next weekend. I don't know.